Ollie, disappointment last week, but um, all, all focus on the league now, 25 games to go, just try and get as many points on the board as possible. Yeah, definitely. Um, starting off on last week, I think, obviously it's really disappointing to go out of the cup. It would have been nice to have a little run in it, but I think performance-wise, it was a good performance. Um, obviously, a couple of moments where we were a little bit slack, um, but... <laughs> Uh, like you said, we'll focus on the league now. Real big push, 25 games, and listen, we, we can get to a certain point target. We we believe we'll get in that top seven. So, yeah. Yeah. What what can you take from the game last week? I mean, we were sort of cruising at two nil up, weren't we? But it was just a couple of slack moments, like you say. So it's just about cutting them out, really. Yeah, definitely. I think there's a load of positives. You know, we we um, had a look at it on Monday, and you know the performance was actually really good, um, but. We can take, you know, two nil is a dangerous scoreline. Everyone knows that in football, so it's important not to switch off. And you know, like we're saying, when we're cruising, we've got to stay on top of our game. And them little moments that that did creep in, we've got to sort of eradicate them in the league. Um, so it's um, one of them. Although we didn't progress, I think there is positives to take from it. Yeah, back at home on Saturday against Bromley, back in league action. Um, it's been a while since the last league game, so how much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, it feels like a while since we've uh, we've uh, actually played in league. But yeah, it'll be a really good game. They're obviously flying, um, but listen, we know what we're like at home, especially. Um, we'll go there with an attacking intent um, to beat them and you know a certain game plan. Um, and if we execute that, I think we can get, get the three points. Uh, second in the league um, so it'll be a tough one but we've obviously shown this season like with the Chesterfield game that we can beat anyone really yeah they're a good team they've got good um, threats going forward they play a certain way which you know they're good at so you've got to nullify them and, and do the sort of gritty bits in the game um, to stop them and if you can get on top of them I think you take a foot in the game and, and when we do that at home you know we're, we're really good we've already played them this season of course quite a tight one at their place just sort of came out on the wrong side of that one so I think they're the first team this season we've played twice does that sort of make any difference to your preparations? No um, I think listen we know what they're like um, we saw that in the first half of the game um, we probably didn't deal with their threat well enough um, first and second balls so it's just something that we, we knew before anyway but we know now um, and yes yeah, it's, it's like you said the first team we play twice so they obviously beat us, so we, we sort of um, want to get the three points over them. Um, and especially at home, you know, like you said, we've been really good at home and if we can keep that run going, I think that'll be really good and, you know, it's a good platform to try and get in that top seven. Yeah, and um, of course last week you had a couple more subs on the bench, which was a little bit of a bonus, but it's still very thin in the squad, so, well, you would be anyway, I'm sure, but you're having to play all, all, all of the games, so how are you sort of feeling fitness-wise? Yeah, I feel good. I want to play as many games as I can. You know, I've got my own little personal target, so long may that long may that continue. But as soon as we do get reinforcements in, you know, you know that you're going to be have to be on it. You know, we've got four centre halves anyway, so I know that if I'm not on it, you know, I can be replaced any week. Um, so it will be good when re reinforcements are in. I think um, it brings that sort of extra edge of competition, and you know, if you don't perform necessarily, you might not um, be starting the next game, but that's just part and parcel of where we are at the moment and um, it's, a, it's a good thing as well I think you know you, you're it's good when you know that you're going to play um, so I, I'm in that sort of like you said routine and my fitness is good so just sort of want to get want to get back to the Saturday Tuesday I prefer that to Saturday Saturday personally yeah and we, we have got a few of those coming up sort of well we've obviously got Boxing Day and then a the couple in January so the games do start to like speed up a little bit so are you looking forward to that then yeah definitely um, you know Christmas is always a good time to be a footballer I think some people say it's not but I think it's the best time you know games come thick and fast and the table can turn very quickly if you get the right results and also if you get the wrong results so it's a good period it's a really tough period we've got um, over Christmas but I know it's a cliche game by game if we can get a good sort of platform into Christmas I feel like we can we can start climbing that table did you expect Bromley to be up there at this point in the season? Yeah, I did. I think look, they finished in the playoffs last year. Um, they're effective at what they do. They know the league, the players. You know, they've got experienced boys, um, and obviously a good threat and cheek up front who scores goals. So, like I said, they know the league. The manager is good. He has a certain way of playing, and I think they're effective at it. So there's no coincidence. They are where they are. Um, see a long way to go. Twenty-five games. So. It's all well and good being there now, but it, it 
it's when you get to the 46th game where you are. So that's sort of where we're, we're looking at. Um, but we don't fear anyone. Yeah, that's, that's what you'll be looking at is to, to make ground on those teams at the top again. And if you, you look at the records, Bromley goals conceded, goals scored is, is a very similar record to, to yourself. So expecting quite a close game. Yeah, they, um, I don't think they play necessarily as expansive football as us, but they like to keep it tight at the back. Um, they defend from the front in a different way to us, I'd say, but it's obviously effective as well. It's got the pros and cons every way you play. So, like I said, I think they've got experienced boys at the back as well, know, know the league, and they'll be a hard team to break down. Um, but if we sort of affect our game plan on them, I think we can open them up.